All right, welcome to my world on the other server. Um, ignore the chat here. They're going through some issues right now, which hopefully we'll never have to face. These are my stables, shooting range, all level 30, artillery. My barracks I have at level 31. Just in case you want to know, oh, I can't really show you the upgrade. It takes tons of silver to upgrade these guys. There's my level 31 castle. If I want to upgrade that, it's going to cost me 16 million silver. So start sacking your silver up now. Anyway, purpose of this is to show you, where is it? This, I think you all were asking about. This is the gemstone building, whatever it is. I never watched the war on these things. But when you click on it, nope, that's not what I wanted to show you first. Stop that. There we go. Gemstone cave. Gemstones. So you're in a cave and you want to do a hero treasure hunt. I'll claim what I already hunted for before. So in order to get these gemstones, and I'll show you what they're used for in a minute, you're going to hit deploy and you're going to need two heroes. Both distance heroes by the guns right and I can't pick a green guy because that doesn't check off the S can't pick a purple guy but I could pick one of these guys the gold guys see the other way that says one now for the second one I could pick a green guy so as long as you have two distance you meet the requirements once you do it a few times you get this auto deploy button so you don't have to think about that. You only have to worry about that the first couple of deployments. So I'm just going to hit auto deploy. And it's going to match up all my heroes to all of the caves. Gravel pit, cave, night marsh. I don't care what that says. I just auto deploy. And now you'll see different times in six hours they're going to come back with these gems. Um, three hours they're going to come back with this. If you notice, this one didn't deploy because I don't have the, enough guards to deploy everything. So I'll look at the shortest timer, 3 hours and 19 minutes, come back in 3 hours, and then I'll be able to deploy there, hopefully. Now you might say, what are you going to do with all these gems? Oh, one more thing. If you fill this up, you can click on the chest, and next time I click on it, I'll get 500 of the yellow gems. Yellow, purple, I don't know what they're really called. I don't care. So the easiest way to see if you can use your gemstones is to click on your profile. And I haven't done this in a while. So what I could do is anything that's got a red dot, I can upgrade. These are all your gemstones. Every piece of armor has three stones in it. So this is my... Crossbow, my cap, Demon Hunter gear is discontinued. You can't get it anymore. Storm and Warrant, you can still get. So say I want, like right here, I got a level 5 gem. Look at the buffs that it gives you. Plus 5% to your troop attack, defense, and health. These gemstones are incredible. And right down here, you got an upgrade button. I'm going to hit upgrade. Wait, before I hit upgrade... I want to see, this is a level 2 gem. Let's see if I can make a level 3 gem. And I can. So I'm going to make, I'm going to activate the handbook. So now I can make level 3 gems. Doesn't mean I crafted a level 3 gem, just means I can. So right now I'm going to pick level 3. I'm going to craft it. it says I don't have enough of the yellow gems. So, what I'm going to do is take this one, and I'll go to where it says embed, and I'll remove it. Now, I lost some power, but I'll show you what we do then. If I click on dismantle, I take that gem I just took off, I'm going to dismantle it. And I get all those gems back from it, thousands of gems. Go back, now I go to craft, and I'm going to craft the level 3 gem. What did I just do? Uh, what's this missing? 
I don't understand. Well, we'll come back to that. I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, for a regular gem, you just upgrade with those gemstones I just got. And I'll keep upgrading. Level 10. And you'll see I'm getting all the power back that I just lost. Try a level 8. See if I can upgrade that one. Just because you can't upgrade one, the lower levels you can still do upgrades on. So like if you see this gem here gives me 7%, this gem gives me 5%, this gem gives me 7%. So that's 20% to my buffs. My defense is buffed by 20% just on the three gems on this one item. And it goes on and on and on. This is 6, 6, 5. So that's 12, 17, 18%. So basically my damage is doubled because I have all this stuff. And I can't even make an R1 there. I'll have to fix that later. So that's basically the gemstone quest. Um, and you get that on your develop button. You're used to having three of these four things. Now you have gemstones. So you can go on here or treasure hunt. See if you could claim or auto deploy. So it's right in front of you. You don't have to click on the cave all the time. Let me see if one of the, I think one of the events are up here too. Let's look for that. Tidelands. That's the name of it. No. Tidelands is where you're going against another kingdom, but not for real life. This isn't the kingdom versus kingdom. This is where you go in a separate instance and fight other kingdoms. So we went through that. We lost. Um, yeah, we lost. Uh, kingdom 2 crushed us. They had 25 participants. We had 17. And they crushed us in every category. Mostly because, I don't know, I didn't care to participate. I'm not going to lose troops in a fake battle. They get a lot of buffs. It's worth it. You get some buffs just for participating. You know, if you go to the store, look, I have 4,300 gems. So let's see what I could buy with that. What's the one thing I like to buy? Silver. I could buy a lot of stuff. This is cool. Uh, let's see. Gemstone scrolls. We like those. You see the way I couldn't build gemstones? Now I just got a bunch more scrolls. So even if you're going to lose in that battle, just by participating, you get stuff. I'm getting a lot of stuff. This is cool. I'm glad I showed you guys this because I was I didn't know I had stuff money to spend here. Do, 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 do. I'll buy some food. Food and crystal I'll always buy because you could trade that in. You could trade that in in the merchant store there. So now I wasted enough of it, so I'm good. Um, I don't think I could show you what the actual event looks like. Yeah, you can't. It's like it's kind of like the Red Guard raid that we do, only you're playing against another world. Uh, it's actually almost the same as that, only you can attack and defend. So it's pretty cool, great way to learn strategy. Um, you definitely there'll be a lot of information you need to learn for that. So I'll go over that. I'll see if I can participate next time, and I'll record it for you guys. Anyway. Um, that's about it on the world. I think everything else is the same. Let me harvest while I'm here. And if you want to see my troop levels, don't show anybody. This is how many troops I have right now. And as you can see, they're all level 10s. This is where you need to be to compete in the kingdom versus kingdom stuff. All right, I'm going to stop the video.